Hi guys, so in this lesson I'm going to try to teach you exactly how to approach these questions. So I know we've been practicing them in the last few lessons, but I want to try to offer you a few tricks and techniques to easily be able to do these questions. So I'm going to show you the way I would do it. So if I start number one, let me just label this number one, number two, number three. So just looking at number one for now, put the other two questions down at the bottom. The first thing I look for is times. So, or times and divide. So here I've got a two, and then all of this is times. Can you see that? So I underline that, and then I see another times over here. So then what you could do is you could put a block around that, like that, and then a block around that, like that. You could then go solve those parts only. So in the first block we have 2 times 2 times 3. Now 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. There is 1, 2 negatives, and so that's positive 12. Because remember when you're timesing, you have to look at all the negatives together. So you'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's only when you but then when you're plussing and when you're minusing, you see now we're plussing and minusing. So you don't say, oh, one, two, three, so that's a negative. With plussing and minusing, you would look at each part and you would say, okay, that's a plus, that's a minus, so that's a minus, that's a plus, that's a minus, so that's a minus, and then that's a plus, that's a minus, so that's a minus. But when you're timesing and dividing, you look at all of them next to each other. Okay, so now I can move on to my next block, which is two times two, but there's one minus, so it's in minus four. So now I'm going to write everything down again. So I've got the 3 and the plus, and then a 12. Then there's a plus 7. Then there's a minus over here, and then I put the minus 4. Just write it as you see it. So can you carefully see what I did there? There was a block like this, and so I saw that there was a minus, so I wrote it down. And then there were, the answer was a minus 4 as well, but I didn't worry about that. I just wrote it down. Now we only have plusing and minusing, so we move from left to right. So 3 plus 12 is 15, Then I'll write everything down. This minus and minus next to each other just becomes a plus. And now I only do one at a time, so 15 plus 7 is 22. 22 plus 4 is 26. I can't do number 2, for some reason when I tried to copy it to the top of the page it disappeared and it won't allow me to undo or get it back, so that was quite weird. So we're moving straight to number 3. So what we do is we look for times first. So I see times over here, and it stops there. So I'll put a block around this. You can choose the minus 3 or just the positive 3. It doesn't matter. Then I see another times over here. Yep, I'll, I'll leave the minus out. Um, but you don't have to, but it just makes it a bit easier. And then I'm going to do this times over here. You see, so I took all the things that are timesed. And I'm going to look at that. So inside this block, we've got 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. We've got 1, 2, 3 negatives, which is odd. So 3 negatives make a negative. So that's minus 24. Then this answer is 2 times 3, which is 6. There's 1 negative. Because remember, this negative is on the outside. Because if I included that negative next to the 8, then it all of a sudden looks really weird. Because now you've got this 8 that is sort of just next to the block. But if I do it like this, then it says plus eight minus whatever's in the block. And that just seems a bit better. So in the block here, we've got two times three, which is six, but then there's one negative, so that's negative. And then in this block, it's 10 times two, which is 20, but there's one negative, so that's minus 20. Now you go and write everything exactly as it is. So it's minus 24 plus eight. Then I see there's a minus. Then this answer is a minus, but that's okay. I just write it like that. Then there's a plus, and then this answer is a minus. You see, it's okay to end up with pluses and minuses next to each other. We can fix that. So let's do that. So it's minus 24 plus 8. A minus and a minus is a plus, and a plus and a minus is a minus. Now we move from left to right. If you have minus 24 rand, it means that you owe people 24 rand. Someone then comes along and they give you 8 rand. So at least they make, they're giving you a little bit of money. So now you only owe 16 rand. Now if you owe people 16 rand and then someone gives you 6 rand, 
well that's better for you now you only owe 10 rand and then if you owe people 10 rand and then all of a sudden you owe them another 20 rand well now you owe a total of 30 rand let's practice a few more of these all right so here's another one so the first thing i like to do is i see all the times in together there we go i put a block around that and then here we have an entire bracket so we could do that part first and so yeah let's do that part for now so I'm just going to write everything else. Well, let, we can say my, this part here is 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. There's one negative, so that's minus 24. Now let's do the inside of this bracket. Now the inside of that bracket looks like this. So inside that bracket alone, I see there's a times over here. So we do that first. That's 2 times minus 4, which is minus 8. And so then we have 4 plus minus 8 plus 6, a plus and a minus is a minus, and so if you have 4 rand and then you owe people 8 rand, then you might you have minus 4 rand. If you owe people 4 rand and then someone gives you 6 rand, then at least you have 2 rand. And so this entire bracket is 2. And the reason I did that was because it was in a bracket, and so you can do a bracket and it won't affect the rest of your sum. And so if I wanted to, I could technically go rewrite everything now, so we have minus 3, then there's a plus, then I got negative 24 over here, then it's minus 4, minus 3 times, now this whole answer is 2 times minus 4 times minus 3 plus 3. So now I should choose the timesing first, and so that's going to be over here. And so that's going to be 3 times 2 which is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 3 is 72. I've got 1 two negatives which makes a positive and so all the timesing is done now I can just move from left to right but let's first rewrite everything so we've got minus 3 then a plus and a minus is a minus then it's minus 72 plus 3 now I move from left to right so if you owe 3 rand and then you owe another 24 rand that means you now owe 27 rand if you owe 27 rand then you owe another 4 rand, that means you owe 31 rand. If you owe 31 rand, and then you owe another 72 rand, now you owe a total of 103 rand. If you owe 103 rand, but then someone gives you 3 rand, oh thank you for that person, then you only owe 100 rand. And there we have it guys, so in this lesson I just showed you a few nice ways to approach these kinds of questions. Thank you for watching.